Hey guys, it's Cecile. Welcome back to my channel. Um, so this video is going to be a bit different from like all my other college stuff. Basically last year when I was at Speech and Debate Nationals in Dallas, I made a vlog on my YouTube channel. Links below. And it got a lot of traction and it was really fun to make. So when I qualified this year in World Schools Debate, I thought why not make another vlog because I was going to be in Albuquerque, New Mexico. But thanks to Corona, instead of being in New Mexico right now, I'm in my house. So I thought I might as well vlog that anyways, so I hope you guys like it. Okay, so the opening ceremony just started, so I'm getting ready to watch it right now, and I guess we'll see what happens with that. So fun. Level okay, honestly, this is just like the actual Level national count. tournament in real life, where we just sit and watch everyone's names pass on the screen. So not seeing much of a difference here. Effort and years of service to high school speech and debate. The performances we will witness this week are tribute to the creativity and dedication of our coaches and the people who support and enable them. Probably be a good time to mention I'm competing in World Schools Debate and um, I didn't know I had to be ready like an hour ahead of time. So I don't have any makeup or like jewelry on for this and I'm literally wearing pajama pants like not kidding. So. I'll change for like next round. Yeah. But I probably won't change the pants because like no one's gonna see that and these are really comfy. So yeah. I literally keep trying to click my room and this comes up. Like I can't even reach my first round and it's literally the practice round and it's all buggy. Okay, I finally made it into my practice round. So here we go. Round zero's over. Woo, I can actually finish getting ready now. <laughs> All right, so like I grabbed my sister's blazer by accident and it's a little too big, but like it's fine. I don't feel like changing. Um, also update on the pants. Still wearing the pajama pants and I don't plan on changing out of those just cause they're really comfy and no one can see me. So I don't really care. But uh, round one's about to start and yeah. Being buggy and I keep getting kicked out. So my internet just went out and I got kicked out of the call. Things are going great. Yeah, love it. So like since I wasn't in round two, I kept trying to like sneak in like my camera recording it, but like not have it show like while I was staring at the zoom and like trying to pay attention. But there was no way to do that. And I was like, I don't want to like infringe on NSDA's privacy or something. So I didn't record it and I won't be really recording the debates. But yeah. Because we believe it is unfair for the government to decide whether a child takes care of their parents or not, we oppose the motion. This house believes that financially stable adult children should be legally required to support their elderly parents. For clarification, we are defining financially stable as having one's income. This is so bad. Good morning. It's day two today, and I'm technically only in one of the next three rounds. But um, I'm up anyways, and I'm getting my cereal. Oh, so yeah. I can't get my contact to stay in my eye. Okay, so like once again, I woke up too late to like do my face and jewelry and everything. But that's not my fault because I actually set an alarm for like an hour before I actually woke up. It's just that I fell asleep. So yeah, um, my round literally starts in like 15 minutes. Like, I don't know, I have to be there in 15 minutes, it starts in 30, but like they usually start early, so. Round four was low-key intense, I felt like we kept getting yelled at by our opponents, and I don't know how I feel. I feel like we need about a 4-2 to make it to uh, triple octas, so fingers crossed we get that. We only have two more rounds left in order to get that. So like, I'm not in this debate, this is round five, so I'm just like observing, took off the blazer, you know, getting all comfy. Yeah. Wow, New Mexico is looking so gorgeous. So we didn't break to triple octas or whatever, which is like the top 35%, I think. But like, honestly, I'm okay with it because honestly, this year was a learning experience. This was my first time doing World Schools Debate, and I think it was fun, and I had a great time. Um, I'm normally a speechy. Like, last year, I competed in original oratory and, like, expository at nationals, and that's, like, what I mainly excel in. But I definitely learned a lot about debate, and I'm going to be sad leaving this all behind. But I'm hoping to get involved with a similar activity at Brown. I'm not really sure. 
Okay, so now that I'm done, I'm going to take this and put it back over the camera so the government can't watch me. And now we're set. Okay, so I'm watching DI Finals because it's one of my favorite finals to watch because it always makes me cry and it's like my main event other than original oratory. And um, it's just so good. Like these people are so good. And it's obviously not the same as being there in person and seeing everyone on a stage and stuff. But like, I'm gonna touch a clip in the next picture that in the next video that like literally got me so hard. And I like to give credit to whoever it is in that video. I'm gonna find out soon enough because I wanna give them credit because that was amazing. And it's so hard for me to rank these people because everyone did so well. But um, I think he should win personally because his was my favorite. And um, I'm excited to see the other events finals so you just showed my boy as lifeless as a broken rag doll these are so powerful and speaking fifth jacob foster from camo high school in louisiana coached by jacob simon okay as an update i just found out we got placed 62nd out of the 169 teams AKA we were two spots away from breaking. <sighs> so close yet so far. It's okay though. Just good to know, but like, that's crazy to think about. I don't think I have anything else to say or show you guys, but if you got this far, thanks for watching. I know this was like low key a boring video because like I didn't really do that much except like compete for two days, but like, yeah, I'm super excited to be back and judging, and hopefully I will be in Nats next year judging for my team, so stay tuned. Oh yeah, and if you want to see a fun vlog for Speech and Debate where I actually like do stuff, check out the one I posted last year in Dallas. It's got a really cute thumbnail. You should be able to find it if you look up NSDA Nats 2019.